guys, I'm here to talk to you about tangent and normal lines. A tangent line is a line that touches the curve at one point. So you see here with this blue line, touches it at one point. A normal line is similar to a tangent line, but it is perpendicular. So you see here with this green line, it is perpendicular to the blue line, and it touches it at one point. Here I'm going to show you some one problem on how to find the equation of a normal and a tangent line. So first, here's my equation g of x equals 3x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 2 at x equals 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to find the y. So if I plug in x for, for this equation, and I get y equals x times negative 1 cubed minus negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 minus 2. And that gives me y equals negative 2. My points are now negative 1 and negative 2. Then I'm going to find the derivative of gx. Then the derivative of gx is x9x squared minus 2x plus 4. Once I have my derivative, I can plug in my x value to find the slope of the tangent line. So I plug in negative 1 here, and I get g prime of negative 1 equals 9 times negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 plus 4. This gives me a slope of g. So it gives me a slope of 15. So this is my slope of my tangent line. So next thing I'm going to do is find the equation of the tangent line. What I do here is use the y-intercept for y equals mx plus b. So what I do here is I plug in my values that I have. I have negative 2 for y, 15 for m, and negative 1 for x. And then this is, I'm going to try to solve for b, the y, the y intercept. So what I do is use simple multiplication, and I get negative 15. So then I'm going to add 15 to both sides, and I get 13 equals b. So to write out my equation, I use y equals the slope 15 x plus 13. This is the equation for a tangent line. So this is an equation for a tangent line, and when I run out of the other equations for the tangent line, you can go ahead and find your equation for the normal line. So what you do is you take the, the slope of the tangent line and you inverse, you negative inverse. So it'll be y equals negative 1 over 15x plus b. And to solve, to finish this equation, I can plug in our values from before. So you have negative 2 equals negative 1 over 15 times negative 1 plus b. This gives you 1 over 15 plus b equals negative 2. I subtract 1 over 15 from both sides, and I get, well, I get b equals negative 31 over 15. So then I plug that into my original equation of y equals m x plus b, and I get y equals negative 1 over 15 x minus 31 over 15. And that's how you find the equation for a normal line. Be careful, most common errors are found in simple mathematical mistakes where you forget to put the negative sign or you multiply around, so watch out for your multiplication. And Charlie will talk to you more about using implicit to find the equation of the tangent line. I'm Charles, and today I'm going to be talking to you about implicit differentiation. Now, implicit differentiation allows you to find the slope of a tangent line when the equation in a question cannot be solved for y. Now, here I'm going to be talking to find the slope of a tangent line using implicit differentiation. Here I have the equation x squared plus y squared equals parentheses. 2x squared plus 2y squared minus x all to the power of 2 at a given point, 0 and 1 half. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to find the derivative of this whole equation. And how we're going to do that is by using the power rule. And the power rule for x squared will bring you bring the 2 in front of the variable and you subtract the, the exponent. So you're going to have 2x plus 2y, you can do the same thing here for y squared, y prime. Now, everybody, don't forget the y prime, because the y prime is a common mistake many students don't write. 
uh, when they're trying to solve the problem. And now you're going to find the derivative of this whole thread. And what we're going to do is the same thing, the power rule. So you're going to bring the 2 in front of this whole equation. So you're going to have 2, the whole equation. Now, what you want to do is find the derivative of the whole parentheses. So it's going to be 4x plus 4y, y prime. Everybody, don't forget the y prime. Minus 1. Now, what we're going to do is we want to isolate y prime from this side. And how we're going to do that is subtracting 2x to both sides. As you can see in purple, 2x is, is, is subtracted and it's putting 2x to both sides. This is the, the equation that we come up with. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to plot these points into the equation. So it's going to look something like this. This is step 3. So now you know this is a y, so you're going to plot in the y point, and this is 0, and so forth. Okay? Now you're going to have y prime. So what's, what's 2 times 1 half, y'all? 1. So it's going to be 1 times 1 y prime is y prime. And then you solve this equation, and what you're going to, what you're going to come up with is y prime equals 2 times 1 fourth times 2y prime minus 1. When you're going to solve this equation, you're going to end up with this. And your final product will be y prime equals 2y prime minus 1. Now, you want y prime to be on one side of the equation. So what we're going to have here is subtracting 2y prime, which will be subtracting both sides, and your final uh, equation will be y prime equals 1. And y prime equals 1, that's the slope of a tangent line. Now, as Jackie had mentioned earlier in the previous the equation of a tangent line, this is the slope, and all you're going to have to do is do the slope-intercept form. And what you're going to do for that is y equals 1x plus c. We want to try to find the y-intercept to, to complete the whole equation. So what we're going to do is just plot the, the, uh, plot in the point, and it's going to be 1 half equals 1, 0 plus c. 1 times 0 is 0. And the y-intercept is 1 half. So now that you have the slope of a tangent line and you have the y-intercept of a tangent line, you could finally have the equation of the tangent line, which is x plus 1 half. And there is your equation of a tangent line. Now, if this is the equation of a tangent line and if you want to find the equation of a normal line, all you got to do is find the negative reciprocal of the slope and then um, plot in the point. And that's all you got to do, and that's the equation of so consistent differentiation. Thank you.